fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, one of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. As much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight Champion of the World, Diesel. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready. He's the third man in the octagon ready. tonight. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not, Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. A couple of chins here being tested early. with the left from the champ. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Straight right hand on the counter is good. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to them. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Nice, nicely done. Nice elbow there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on the by blocking all these attacks. 
Beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he connects there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Clean with the right hook. Double jab is there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Beautiful left hand punch. Oh, man. On oh, again. Missed on the right hand. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Nice knee landed there by Lee. Straight right is there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. He gets to the single column time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Nice crack there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Oh, good kicks now. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, roundhouse kick. Good block there. Round two is next. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick. A real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And oh! 
pretty good straight punch there by Lee. Let's go, let's go. Now, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. And he gets the single leg takedown. Lands with the ground and pound here. He passed the half guard. Getting them out here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the second round. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Sidekick. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Great job fighting behind the limb. Oh, nice. Under two minutes to go in round two. Nice punch there by Lee. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Going to the sidekick. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice jab. Takedown defense is there. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Final seconds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fighters to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, big punch land. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Targeting the body with the kick now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. the body shot there. Back out, back out. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on Friday. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. A nice jab by Lou. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, nice inside kick. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. Effective punch there by Lee. Nice liver shot lands. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. 90 seconds to go. Oh, add that to his highlight reel. The wheel kick is good. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Dig and kick. Under a minute now to go. Nice straight there by Lee. Hey, hands up. Your face. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to man a space. With conviction to the body. Back out of there. Back out of there now. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Waning seconds here of round number three.
Oh. All right, three rounds oh. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, oh man, he's hurt. Visibly limping here. He's hurt again. And back to his feet. Oh, good knee. Nice block. He's got that jab working nicely done. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, nice. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. It seems as though it is toughness that is carrying him through. His thigh is mangled. I'm not sure how much he can take. He, he won't be able to take much more, J.A. This fight's pretty much over. I understand that he's going to switch his stance, but then he'll switch back. I understand that he's going to try and defend, but it's too late. Everything that lands from this point forward is going to be so damaging that it will ultimately lead to this fight being finished. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad, and he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to target him. Nice hook lands. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Oh! Oh, and that kick is blocked. That leg kick lands. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Left hand got home there. Lee's really limping now. Clearly the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Big shot lands for both guys. Ball targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. 45 seconds remain in the round. 
All right, feet on the hips here. Great shot from the top position. Ten seconds to go in round four. Lee getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Good oh, sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. Relax. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Distance now. That cut's pretty bad, and it's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your escape. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. He's got good leg kicks. There it is. Let's go. Get out of there. Separate. Take your space back. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we oh. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no...